What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again Monster Hobbies model car fans. Today we're going to be looking at the Mobius 1954 Hudson Hornet Special. Stay tuned to the end of the video where you can find out where to get some really cool model car kits. 1954 would see two changes for Hudson. The first was the merger with Nash to form American Motors, and the second was the final year for the original Hudson factory cars. Mobius has released this amazing 125th scale skill level 2 model kit for ages 15 and up of the 1950 Hudson Hornet Special. The model kit includes chrome plated parts and full detailed decal sheet, detailed interior, and a 308 six cylinder or twin H power engine. This side of the box features a full build of the 1954 Hudson Hornet Special by Mobius Models. And now let's remove the lid of our 1954 Hudson Hornet Special by Mobius Models. And as you can see right away, we get a full color instruction sheet, which is again, very nice, folded into a little booklet. We have our wonderful Hudson Hornet body and under chassis. And again, that is in a plastic bag. We have our chrome, which has a little paper in between so that the chrome doesn't get all scratched up. Then we have our glass and then all the rest of our plastic components and our tires. And we also have this really awesome decal sheet which we'll take a look at at the end of the video. Here we have our full color instruction sheet for the 1954 Hudson Hornet Special. And as you can see, we've got these important boxes, the read at first box, painting your kit, decal application, and key to parts. Now, although Hudson did not have a big powerful V8 like most of the other car competitors at the time, they did have a very cool straight six engine. And this one was a world beater. I should know because I tried to chase one of these Hudsons and I couldn't catch it. So here we have the cylinder head, the right and left hand side engine block with transmission, oil pan, front timing cover, fan belts, and the fan. We continue building this motor with our fuel pump, our intake manifold, dual carburetors, dual exhaust manifold, our crankcase ventilation tube, our throttle linkage, starter motor, oil filter, distributor, ignition coil, engine oil filler tube, and the generator. Our next panel here shows our three-piece air cleaners going on. So you've got a top, a bottom, and an end cap. And then we've got our throttle linkage as well as our exhaust manifold. This is followed up with the application of our twin H power decals, which go on both of the air cleaner canisters. Assembly step number two shows our wheels and axle going together. So first off we have this wheel hubcap arrangement which goes into our single tire and you want to repeat that four times. Then you've got your wheel assembly going onto this brake backing plate as well as our spindle and it's all held together with this little pin. And for the rear axle we have our differential in two pieces top and bottom going together as well as these brake backing plates. Our next panel shows our chassis assembly and here we have the floor pan going onto our step down frame and we also have our wheels going in place as well as the two front springs, our lower right and left hand A arms, the front sway bar, our tie rods and then we've got our brake master cylinder and our exhaust system as well as our drive shaft. There's that differential again. We've got our rear springs. This has got a metal axle in the back, and then you've got some shock absorbers and another sway bar. Panel 4 shows our beautiful interior going together. We've got a steering wheel and then our dashboard, as well as a heater. This panel shows where all the decals go on those parts. And then we've got that again down here. We also have our steering column to connect our steering wheel to the floor. And then we've got these nice floor pedals. We've got a three, or actually a four piece front bench seat. There's the front, the back, the two grab handles. And then we've got separate panels for both of the doors and a rear bench seat going in the back. Now panel six shows our engine dropping into the engine bay and getting hooked up to the radiator with our upper and lower radiator hoses. And there are some cool decals which go in there as well. And then we've got our firewall and we've got these braces and our horns and our windshield wiper motors and wiper mechanisms. Then we continue on with our body by putting in the firewall underneath. 
as well as our chrome grille and bumper headlights and all the little door handles and mirrors and tail lamps and everything else that make up this kit including the rear bumper and the molding on the back and then we have our windows and our sun visors going in as well panel 7 shows our final assembly with our hood and hood emblem being glued together we have a battery that drops in there's our hood hinges as well as a lot of decals which go up in here and then our entire body drops down onto that cool interior and chassis and then we get a license plate for the back. Mobius includes these really cool color sheets which show underneath the hood and how to paint your engine as well as some suggestions for painting the interior and here's the entire undercarriage as well. And they don't stop there, because look, here's a painted up dashboard, and the firewall and cowl here, and then both sides of our engine, as well as up in the front and the rear of the car. The back of our instructions includes suggested paint colors, body colors, upholstery colors, and two-tone body colors. Here's our Hudson body, and as you can see, there are some nice trim pieces included on here, which you will have to dress up with your bare metal foil once you paint them. A little Hudson emblem up front, and then we can turn it up on its side and see all that nice detail there. Underneath there are some mold marks in some strange places, but we can easily get at those with our number 16 hobby blade. You can see the nice attention to detail with this nice little hole here for our rear view mirror to mount in, as well as the notches for our sun visors. Off the back we also have the Hudson emblem in here, as well as a notch for some of the details, and you even have a gas filler door that you can have open or closed. Again, a very nice model from Mobius. The next panel to investigate is our floor pan, and with this kit there are mold marks, but they appear to be going underneath the seats, so they would be quite easy to cover. You do get the Mobius brand right here with a copyright date of 2015. There are some mold marks into the trunk area, so if you want to have an opening trunk, you will need to cover this part with some sheet styrene. There is some nice carpet molding in here. Underneath, a lot of great detail as well, if you can look at that fuel cell there, as well as the spare tire. And again, very nicely done. Very great from Mobius. Which leads us right into the frame, and here we've got a nice perimeter for mounting our rear bumper on, as well as these side areas. That was the step-down feature, and it almost is reminiscent of a unibody-style frame without the car mounted around it. Again, very nicely done. Nice crisp detail inside there, but you may be wondering how these pieces all fit together when they go into the car. Here we have the body, the interior pan, and the frame all pieced together, just loosely of course, but you can see how nice this fits underneath and how everything interlocks into little pins and holes. So again, very nicely engineered by Mobius. Our 1954 Hudson Hornet Special from Mobius Models comes with six non-chrome-plated parts trees, and these are the first three of those trees. And here we have the other three parts trees, which includes the suspension components, engine components, and the interior components. Our first parts tree includes all the components to build our engine, as well as some underhood details. And again, you can see the molding on this is excellent. Just take a look at that twin H power engine, as well as our cylinder head here. There's our oil pan and transmission cover. Again, very nicely done. Underneath, of course, very good from this end too. A couple of little mold marks and whatnot, but these should not present much of a problem as you build this great model kit. Our next parts tree includes the suspension components and the horns, as well as our sun visors. And again, you can see just how nicely this is all done up. Very beautiful work by Mobius. There are some sink marks on the back of things, so you will have to remove them with your file and your hobby blade. But overall, the parts are very crisp and very nice looking. And here's something any model builder can get behind, are separately molded door panels. Because here you can actually get your paint inside there, you can lay down your bare metal foil on your handles and molding, and again, these will all look very good in the end. So just take a look at that beautiful detailing in there. Again, quite a nice quality kit that I'm sure you would want on your shelf. And here we have our hood, gas filler cap, rear seat and package shelf, and our dashboard. 
And again, look at that great detailing on there. You can see all the cool little lines and whatnot. There's our upholstery for our seat and our hood with the Hudson letters down below, the little gas filler cap. If we turn it over, we do have mold marks under the hood, but again, there's a nice brace in there and everything looks to be about right for the car itself. Here we have some more great components, including the external sun visor, which was an option on these cars, as well as the rear seat with those nice pockets underneath and the holes for our grab rails. Check out those leaf springs on there. Again, you got your heater motor, which looks like the correct deal. And then our fans and all the other components. Very beautifully done and very masterfully executed. Our final parts tree that is not chromed includes the front of our bench seat, as well as our radiator, lower A arms, the drive shaft to the rear differential, shock absorbers, pedals, and this nice firewall here. And again, all molded very, very well. Excellent work on the behalf of Mobius models. Mobius also includes three fully chrome parts trees. First, we can start with our wheels and hubcaps. And as you can see, the detail on here is really nice. There's a spot for the Hudson emblem to go right in the dead center. There's our awesome looking steering wheel, as well as our mirrors and windshield wipers. There's our steering column as well, and our side view mirrors. Next up, we have our grille and our rear chrome panel. I'm not quite sure what this part is. I could not find it in the instructions. But again, we have our headlight rings, rear tail lamps, and individual door handles. So very nicely done. Just take a look at how excellent that grille is. You can see through it, which is correct for the car. You might want to add a little bit of black paint in there. But overall, very excellent work. And the chrome on here is superb. Our final chrome piece has the front and rear bumpers, and then we've got the emblem for our hood, as well as many other cool chrome features. Again, very nicely done. There is quite a bit of flash on this end of the chrome tree, but that's pretty much the only flash on these parts. Here we have all our glass components, and Mobius did something a little bit different on this kit that most model manufacturers don't do, but this approach is quite nice. They have left a lip around each of the glass components that you can add bare metal foil onto before you put them in the body. So the actual body does not have the window trim around it, it's right on the glass. We also have our rear tail lamps, which are sort of very much like 1954 Cadillac style. And then we also have our headlights and the front turn signal lenses. Next up, we have these very amazing yet very generic tires. They do not have Goodyear or Firestone molded on the sidewalls. They do have a little bit of flash in the center holes, but they have this really amazing tread pattern. And you can always paint white walls on these tires by following our guide up here. Finally, we have our decal sheet. And if we peel off the paper, you can see the amazing items on here. Have our instrument panel, all the little emblems, as well as our license plates. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great look at the 1954 Hudson Hornet Special. And if you want to find some really cool model kits for sale right now, check us out at the link above. And until next time, model car builders, happy model building.